I'm back again for another night of DFS. Um, not a bad night. I'm very disappointed that in this multi-billion dollar business of sports, they can't afford to make sure that the court's going to be dry and ready for these players. You understand? There's a lot of money involved. These are things that should not be happening. I think it's very careless, but nonetheless, the second time, second time this year that a game is postponed or canceled because the floor is wet. A lot of money lost because the floor is wet, but whatever. I spent 24 hours working on a nice lineup just to have to 10 minutes before a lot to work on a lineup. And like I said, normally when I don't do well, it's because of injuries and lineup lock and something weird happening. Thankfully, tonight, I didn't do too bad. I didn't do as well as I knew I could have done, but I didn't do too bad either. I did decent. Um, I might break even, might win in one or two head-to-heads. Um, I'm at 280 right now, and I have Blake Griffin in the third quarter. He should bring it home. But nonetheless, let's get into tomorrow's slate. It's a three-game slate, so I don't have to worry about making an hour-long video. I'm going to get right into it. The first game is Portland versus Oklahoma. We're going to look at it. Um, China will be out. Crab will be out. Oladipo. Crab may play. He was. He might play. He was supposed to play today. He was probable. He might play tomorrow. He should play. Um, Oladipo practiced today, and he may play. It's up in the air. Nonetheless, um, let's start with Portland. Damian Lillard is someone I would definitely consider. Um, it's just that he's nine k. Um. On a slate like this, I know I like to go for six times value, but on a slate like this, I might have to lower my expectations a little bit because it's not a lot to choose from. It's only three games. And for everybody you pick to hit six times in three games, it's not a realistic expectation. Um, so I would say five to seven K is the range of what I'm looking at. Lillard would need about 45 just to make 5K for me. And that's pretty much what he's been doing against OKC, about 5K. So, um, him and McCollum kind of share the ball. He kind of been the main guy in the last couple of the games. It's just hard to predict. Um, they're on the road. I'm going to hold on to him briefly. I don't think I'll play him, but he's a good mention. McCollum, on the other hand, I would not play. The matchup apparently isn't there. Um... I would need 30s and 40s from him, which he does pretty consistently, but then he'll give you 19 and 20s sometimes. And this is just not a matchup that screams at me. They played three times, and he's averaging 30 for 7K. I don't want 30 tomorrow. I'm not going to even... I mean, we can put him there, but he won't be there for too long. He's someone that's not ruled out, though. He's a good player, so um, I'll put him. Um, Harkless, on the other hand, I like tomorrow. Um, the reason is, with Turner being out, he's getting minutes in the 30s. He may not give me 6K, but he will for sure give me 5K. He's not Tonight is not a night that you want anything in the teens, okay? You don't want any numbers in the teens, all right? Um, he's dealing with Robeson defense. Robeson plays decent defense, but... Um, look, if he gets you 18 points, he gets double that in fantasy points. 10 points, double that. 8 points, triple that. 18 points, almost double that. So he's doing more than just scoring. He'll get you some rebounds, some steals, which Westbrook gives up a lot of steals. He may get you some blocks, some assists. He can do everything. He's pretty efficient, 85%, 78%, 50%. Um... I like Harkless, and I'll put him there for now. Power forward, Aminu, same song as Harkless. He may not get me 30, but um, besides a odd game out, which was he wasn't in foul trouble, 
Just had a bad game. 0 for 5. Was not really like him for the most part. He'll score something. And again, even if he scores 14, he gets you 31. He's only scored 2 points. He got you 12. 13, double that. 23, 33. So he's a guy that's definitely going to get you in the 20s. He won't leave you in the teens. He's someone that um, I'll definitely consider as well. Um, Miles Leonard sucks. Um, Nurkic is someone that I really love tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to play him because he's 7K. For 7K, again, I'm going to need 35 guaranteed with an upside of 40s and 50s, which is Nurkic. All right. Nurkic has um, 30s most nights. This night, he was in foul trouble. It was Orlando. Nope, this one. He was in foul trouble. He only played 21 minutes. So, But for the most part, he's 30s consistently since he's been traded. And he has 50s upside, which he did against OKC, who he is playing. He played them three times, and he's averaging mid thirty, so he's not a bad play. It's just that um, his price. I'm gonna leave him here because he is to be considered, but for that price, I don't think I can afford him tomorrow. All right. But let's see. Let's continue and see um, on the Oklahoma side of the ball now. Russell Westbrook, the reason that I think I'm going to lock him in for tomorrow is because in a three-game slate, you would want the player that scores the most points. Most likely, he'll make you win the tournament or head-to-head -head or whatever it is. Um, there's two players that I think has the potential to end up with the most points tomorrow. Russell Westbrook and John Wall. Westbrook is $2,500 more expensive than Wall. But let's look at his floor. 50s is the floor for Russell Westbrook. You will never get less than 50s. This game against Washington was a blowout from the first quarter. I remembered it vividly. And that's why we got 31. He only played 24 minutes. All right. I don't see that happening again. Um, I think his floor is pretty safe at 50. So on the worst case, we can expect 50. On the best case, in a very good matchup that he just... Went off a 66 against, and he's averaging in three games 60s. I'm okay with Westbrook. John Wall, on the other hand, his floor brings you down into the 40s and 30s. 30s, 40s. Um, it's a very good matchup. He's on the road. In the one game that he played, he put up 60. Um other thing about Westbrook is he's averaging a triple-double on the season, right? Triple-double average on the season. He hasn't had one in one, two, three games. That's not Westbrook-like. He's due. I see it tomorrow. He's back home. The reason he hasn't had one in three days because he's been away for three days. He's been on the road. He's been without Oladipo, who may return. So he has someone else to pass it to that can make a shot. Um... His home and away split. He does better at home. He's back home. He loves to be at home. I think tomorrow is a triple double day. Four day, four games in a row without a triple double. I'm a numbers person. I'm analytic. It's just not Westbrook like. All right. He's back home. They just lost. I think twice. Right. They just lost two games in a row. He wants to win. They had a game to practice. They're back home. The crowd is behind them. There's a lot of reasons to like Russell Westbrook tomorrow. He is my lock of the day on a short slate like this, okay? um, I don't want any of his backups. Oladipo might play. And normally I like to play Oladipo. He's another one that his floor would be in the 20s for the most part with 40s upside. Um... Really around the 30s. A very good play. It's just that he's coming back from an injury. And he has two new teammates that he only got one practice in with. So, um, it, it, I, I like Oladipo. I like him a lot tomorrow. And um, I think if you play him and he plays a good amount of minutes, but coming back from an injury, he will reward you. 
I just um just not the kind of person to play a guy who's coming back from injury who's questionable and if he does play might be on a restriction. His back might flare up in the middle of the game. There's so much that can go wrong. I, I'm just going to be careful and not play Oladipo tomorrow. Roberson I like a lot. Um, I want to show you guys something about Roberson now. If you look at his splits at home, he's averaging 22, which is about six times value. That's what we want. On the road, he doesn't do too well. Right? Now, let's look at his last 10 games. He's been on the road for three games. 14, 17, 18. On a three-game slate, if I can get some good guaranteed players with a guy like Robeson, even if he does give me 18, I'm not upset at that. That's a good five-time value. I can take that, right? But these are all away game. This is a home game, but the matchup against Utah is never one to be excited about. Let's look at some other home games. New Orleans, 19. That is five to six times value. Lakers, 31 at home now. New York at home, 23. That's six times value. Again, this Washington game was done before it started. These other two games, Golden State and Cleveland, he was at home. He was in the 20s. But when he goes on the road, you get zero. When you go on the road, he gets 18, 17, 14. Coming back at home with the crowd roaring at him. I love Roberson tomorrow. I think he'll get back into the 20s. Um, love Roberson at home. What else can I say? Um, McDermott, he'll get you eight. 14, 16. It's just not what I want. Um, Taj Gibson struggling. 9 and 10 is not what I want. Still getting acclimated to his new team. He did show some flash of upside, but until he does that consistently, I'm not going to roster him, especially on a three-game slate. Um, Kanta, I like. Kanta is in play. He just comes off the bench. I don't like to play a lot of bench, guys. Steven Adams will have to deal with Nurkic, which is not an easy matchup. And they just played, and he had 10 in 24 minutes. That's half a point per minute. I'm a little worried about that, all right? Ooh, we're in debt six grand. We got to fix that. Let's go on to the next game. Um, As far as injuries, Berea is out. Larry Nance, I think he might be probable. Let's check out those injuries. Zubak. He didn't practice. He has some quadriceps. They're not going to force it. You could count him as out. Nance, he did practice, but still questionable. I don't think they're going to force any of these guys to play, all right? They're not in the playoffs. There's no nothing to really play for. To aggravate an injury just doesn't make sense when they have other players. They have tons of people they can use, all right? Um... As far as point guards, I like Russell. The reason I like Ru not Russell, no way. Too expensive, Clarkson. The reason I like Clarkson is because he is averaging 27 points, 27 minutes a game. It's a very, very bad matchup. I get it. But tomorrow is a day where... um. You want to not be in the teens, right? He played Dallas three times. He only put up 21 points. I don't like Clarkson. No, nope. don't like Clarkson. Um, I think I might be forced to play him. I kind of did this lineup before the video, and I think Clarkson will have to have been played, but let's just go through it. Um, I don't like Clarkson more than anyone here. He will save me some money, but just very risky. Um, let's move on. Ingram, bad matchup. He will give you 27, which is barely value. That's, that's like five times value, if that. His, and that's his ceiling. I don't want it. I don't want eight. I'm not an Ingram fan. 
Nick Young, his shots have to fall. He'll throw up a lot. We know that. And when they fall, like here, you get a good score. But if they don't fall, you'll get this 12 to 17 to 8. I'm not into that. All right. Um, we spoke about Ingram. Randall for 6K. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, they played three times. He gave you about 26. We know that Dallas is tough on the interior, so I don't want to mess around and risk it. Um, we know that he's going to get the minutes um, against a tough New Orleans lineup. He gave me 30, which is five times. His upside is 65, which is fake. Don't believe it. We don't want to run and chase that when he's giving you 25. 25 for 6K will hurt me tomorrow, right? 24, 22. So let's not mess around with Randall. All right. On the Dallas side, point guards, Yogi Ferrell has, I think the whole Dallas team is hard to predict. And in order to win, picking someone on Dallas, you have to pick the right one. Fellow, I don't think is the right one. He's not going to be the one taking many shots. Um, now that Wesley Matthews is back, he only took eight shots and gave them 14 points. Um, Wesley Matthews makes a big deal because he needs his shot. And he kind of um, controlled the ball a little bit too. He plays some point guard. Same could be said about Seth Curry. So they are all risky. And for that reason, the Lakers is a good matchup, and they're at home. So I'm pretty sure if you get the right one, you'll be okay. The one that I do like um, is I like Dirk. But for 6K, I only need mid-30s as a guarantee. And he can do it, but it's not a guarantee as we see right here. So I'm going to stay away from Dirk. I like Noel. I think Noel is a guarantee 30 tomorrow now hear me out he has not been giving you 30 but for different reasons right he got traded around here all-star weekend so he got traded i think this game was still in um philly this new orleans game not sure but nonetheless um Miami, he plays 25 minutes, gave you 19. Atlanta, he plays 16 minutes. Now, Memphis is normally a bad matchup, right? Not really. Um, as I speak to you, I just looked up and saw that the Brooklyn Nets just beat Memphis at home. Jeremy Lin took over. They couldn't stop Jeremy Lin, okay? Capella put up 40 fantasy points against them the other day. Noel put up 40 fantasy points against them. So Memphis is getting soft. They're definitely someone that I'm going to start targeting because they're getting soft. Um, thing with Noel, he's foul trouble prone. But against the Lakers, who gives up so much to, um, look, he played eight minutes, and he's more than a point per minute. I think he's going to get around 30s. They're going to want to rest Nowitzki a little bit. The reason Nowitzki played that much minutes against Oklahoma was because Noel was in foul trouble, and his shots were falling. He grabbed some rebounds. I think all this is going to go to Noel. I like Noel tomorrow as a... Um, a uh, gamble pick. Um, the thing with Cantor now that I like is there isn't there isn't anyone that come off the bench that can put a body on Cantor on Portland. Portland only have um, Nurkic. When Nurkic sits, it's Myers Leonard. Myers Leonard. <laughs> He's a saw. He's sorry. He's not good. Noel um, against the Lakers. 
if the game turns into a blowout, he'll be out there with the garbage time. They really want to rest Dirk. Dirk is not young. Noel is young. Um, Mejri. I, I just have a good feeling about Noel tomorrow. I really like Noel. Um, and the matchup is just screaming at me. Um, I'm going to take out Nurkic. We got to save somebody. I'm going to put Noel. And I think that's a legitimate um, decision. All right. Now, to this game here, there's no injuries. They're both healthy. We kind of spoke about why I'm not going to play John Wall. We can start with Washington. I do like Bradley Beal. He is just really expensive. Um, CJ and um, I'm trying to save money at this point. The thing with Bill though is in the last ten game days, he's averaging in the forties. He's eight K. His price went up from seven point two to seven point eight, and it's going up. I think it plateaus. Um, This game can go along, could be a blowout. The last time he played them, he put up 50. There's a lot of reasons to like Bradley Bill tomorrow. And it's going to hurt me that I'm not going to play him because of his price. As I'm trying to force Russell Westbrook into my lineup. The thing with Russell Westbrook, again, is that his floor is 50. Okay, These guys, they have good um, upside, but... The floor could be in the 30s, and for 8K, 30 is about four times value, okay? 32 would be four times value, and he's done that. Some 20s and 30s, the matchup is there, but in Toronto, the matchup was there as well, right? Um, Indiana, the matchup was there, and he didn't take advantage of it. Um... Brooklyn is a super matchup. He got 45, which would be good tomorrow. Um, Philly was a super matchup. He did well. Uh, Orlando, he did well. Um, let's see. He does better um, at home tomorrow. He's on the road. And if we look at his list of games, home 40s, home 40s. He goes on the road and he struggles, right? Then he's home 40s. Utah is just a difficult. He goes on the road. He put up 50 in Philly. He goes on the road. He struggles a little bit. Um, this was a blowout. Indiana on at home. Just the price, man. The price. It's a very good matchup. He's proven that he can take advantage of this team. He plays good defense. He is a good source of offense. But... Um, too much can go wrong. If it's a blowout, Bogdanovich will get most of the minutes. Um, there's it's an away game. It could be Otto Porter who's hot and continues to take shots. Markeith Morris can heat up. I'm just finding excuses why I'm not gonna play him. I really like him a lot tomorrow. I would um would never argue against playing him. It's just that my money is low and I think there's better value for me and I'm not gonna play Bradley Bill. Same could be said for Otto Porter. And Otto Porter is easier to fade because his floor can be in the twenties and low twenties, teens, five, eighteen. Um bench players I'm gonna stay away from tomorrow. Um Markeith Morris has been struggling. Tomorrow is a good spot for him to bounce back. Um the last time they played Phoenix he struggled. Um but any given day, Marquise Morris can have a good game. Uh, never a bad play. And he was nursing some type of injury, thigh. So maybe that's why his production hasn't been great. His thigh is messing with him. I uh, would caution. I like Mahinmi. Um, I'm going to make a quick case for him. Um, 18 is considered 6 times K. He's done that twice in the last four games and then 15 is three is five times value he's done that the other two times 
So for five to six times value on a slate like this, I wouldn't argue against it. I'm not going to play him. He's just a bench guy, you know. He's been taking a lot of Gortox minutes. Gortox been in the 20s and the teens because they have to feed Jason Smith, who gets occasional DNPs. Um, and then they have to feed Mahinmi, Markeith Morris. It's a lot of big, so I'm going to stay away from all that, right? On the Phoenix side of the ball, even if this guy does bad tomorrow, I won't hate him, all right? Because he has been winning me money. He's been winning me money, and I like him for that, all right? 30s, 30s, 20s, 20s for 4K. You got to go with him. Which guard would I get rid of for you, Liz? Um, I'll get rid of Lillard. Throw you listen. Still gotta save eight hundred dollars, right? Um, I don't love McCollum tomorrow. I don't love him. Um, I don't love Devin Booker, though. I think his floor is pretty good in the mid twenties, but mid twenties for six K. It's about four times value. That's not what you want. Um, I do love Beal. And I'm so upset. You know, if Oladipo plays, I'm going to put Oladipo in temporarily. Only because his floor is so nice. You know what I mean? Oladipo will never get you less than 20. I don't know what happened here. Oh, this was the big blowout game, right? Yeah, everyone... Had low scores here, yeah, even the winning team did. But besides that, he's safe for at least five times value and very easily could get you six times value. Out of the last ten games he played, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven times he gives you five times value. I think Victor Oladipo can be what you want if he plays. If he does not play, I'm going to do a video closer to lock. With my updated lineup, but Oladipo right now I think deserves to be in the lineup. Right. Um. Now I have some money. Um. Love Oladipo. Love Ulysses. Harkless. I said it was safe. Love Noel, but um, for sixty-two, I'm not gonna move Noel. Roberson we could probably get, let's see, $4,300. Turner's out, Nick Young. Now, I know that I said, uh, I'm not going to do Nick Young. I'm not, because if I get 8 or 12, I'm going to be upset. 13, 12, no, no Nick Young. Let's move on. So, there's really... No upgrade for Roberson. For Cantor, 63. Let's look for an upgrade for Cantor. Devin Book, I don't consider it. Cantor can get you into the 40s. It's pretty safe around 30, except for this game. He's pretty much around 30. Um, these games, he didn't play minutes. I don't know why. Blowout at nine minutes. You're not going to get nine minutes out of Cantor. I think he's pretty safe. I'm going to leave Cantor alone. I wouldn't take him out. It was at 63. I wouldn't take him out for Booker. Um, hmm. Bradley Beal plays defense. The matchup is not there. I'm not going to take him out. It's, it was worth considering, but I'm not going to do it. No, I already said no. Is there someone for 6K that I would put in instead of Aminu? Let's see. TJ Warren, we know is good for 30 every night. The last, um, he never played Washington, but he's pretty good for 30. Now, Otto Porter plays defense. Markeith Morris plays defense. Um, just like um, Crowder plays defense, but he still gave us 30. Um, Roberson plays defense. He got. Uh, we don't want 20s for for 6k 
thinks uh, let's see what I'm considering taking off for Amino can give us what he can give us. Same stuff. 30, 30, 30, 30. I'm not gonna take out Amino and put in Warren. Even though Wilson plays good defense, they played twice. He got me around six times value. I'm not gonna move Amino. Um Hawkless fifty nine. Now that might be worth it. Although Hawkless got us into the 30s, he's going up against um Loberson, which has proven to uh, shut him down, right? Um I can get Dirk Nowitzki over Hawkless. Or I can get TJ Warren. So Oladipo is safe, Ulysses is safe, Aminu, Noel, Westbrook, Robeson, and Cantor are safe. So Hawkless is the guy that I would choose to upgrade on. I'm just going to move Robeson up into the small forward. And let's see now. To make a decision between Warren and Nowitzki. <sighs> so as far as matchup, they both have good matchups, right? More so Nowitzki. In 20 minutes, Nowitzki put up 24 points. He's about 6K, which I means I need about 30 to be guaranteed. And OKC, because um, Noah was in foul trouble, he stayed in. He got 39, but he's often in the low 20s, right? Then 30s, then 20s. He's a risk. Nowitzki's a risk. Um, but these 20s game, though, the... Matchup wasn't weren't great. Still, we just saw Capella, um, Noel attack Memphis. I think they want to rest Nowitzki, and for that reason, I'm gonna caution with them. They won't play him unless they really need him, and I don't think they're gonna really need him against the Lakers. I think Noel will come out and show out tomorrow. I have a strong feeling that tomorrow is Noel's night. Nowitzki is kind of going to cruise. They'll start him because, you know, he's the vet. And he would be disrespected if they don't. But then they'll take him out midway through the first. Noel will come out, go to work. Noel will catch a hot streak. They'll just ride the hot hand and kind of go with Noel tomorrow. That's my call. Let's see if I'm right. TJ Warren, on the other hand, he also has a good matchup. Um... He's good for, he's still expensive. Um, and his upside is not that great. Um, I don't know about Noel either. Personally, I think Harkless will get me in the 20s and 30s. He has some good 30s upside. None of those guys are screaming 40s at me. Um... I think I might want to stick with Harkless here. Who would I... All right, let's see how I want to do this. Right? A player that I really wish I can get into my lineup would be... Um, you know, Alan Williams. Even though his price went up, we see what he's doing. They're giving him a lot of minutes. And Washington, he has a good matchup. He has 40 upside, which is like seven times value. I don't know how I missed that. He's pretty safe for six times in the mid-30s, 40s, maybe even flirt with 50s. Alan Williams is a must-play tomorrow. Right? How much is he? 67. How much is Nurkic? 68. In a not so high matchup. So let's take out. Um, I want to take out Noel Cantor. Because we know Alan Williams will give us what Cantor will give us, plus higher upside. Cantor won't get you into the 40s. He hasn't been. And he can get you as low as 18, 12, 20s. All right. They just played Portland and he got 33, which is. Um, okay, but Alan Williams is the story right now, the big easy or whatever they call him, right? So let's get Alan Williams in, all right? 
And then now we have to keep playing this budget game. Um, I'm thinking, I love Nerlin Noel, love Alan Williams, love Westbrook, love Oladipo if he plays. Roberson at home is worth the risk. Ulyss, love Ulyss. I love everyone here. The two people that I like the least are Harkless and Aminu, right? So from 51 and under, let's see if I see someone that I can say I really like. Let's see, 400, Amino is 54, so that's 5,000. Oculus, so 5,000 Amino's, right? Um, I don't think Logie Fowl is it. Bogdanovich, not bad. Um, it's a risk, but I think he only had one game, really, in which he wasn't in the... And Toronto, he struggled, but then Orlando. So he has 30 upside, and he's done it two out of the last four games. So 50% of the times, he'll give us 30, right, which is good. Now, his um, floor can be eight, but I don't think that's – I think that's a fake floor. I think a real floor would say 20, 21 for him. In an up pace game, I think he'll be able to get some peripherals. So he'll have a line similar maybe to this one with some rebounds in there. If he doesn't get you 20 points, he'll get you 6 rebounds, 14 points, 23. Um, I think 20s is fair, a fair call for him. We might not get 6 times value for him, or we might get 7 times value for him. Right? But it's worth it. I think it's worth the risk. To squeeze in the Allen Williams, Tyler Ulis, those two guys can give you 40s and 30s. Um, Oladipo is pretty steady. Upper 20s, maybe can get you 30s. Um, and in a night where there's not a lot of shooting guard. I mean, let's see, 53. I'm just gonna do some playing around. If I I don't want to take out Oladipo, I know he's nursing an injury and he played them once. He put up 51, okay, and then when he plays minutes in the 20s or up, he gets you 30, 30, 40, upper 20s, 50. That's the Portland game. So I like I like Oladipo tomorrow. Um, remember, check my, I'm going to do a video closer to lock. This is just me brainstorming and trying to pick a good lineup. Um, it's looking like Bogdanovich. I'm just trying to think. Do I want to take out Aminu or Harkless? So Aminu is averaging more than Harkless on the season. In the last 10 games, we're getting 26 out of Amino. In the last 10 games, we're getting 28 out of Harkless. In three games, we got 23 out of Harkless. In three games, we got 27 out of Amino. Let's see who has the better matchup. Amino. Um, who gets more minutes? 29 minutes for Aminu. He's always in the 30s. Harkless, 35 minutes for Harkless. He's always in the 30s. So that's hard. Um, I think I'm going to be forced to play Harkless because if I'm considering... Bogdanovich, right? And I guess that's how my decision was made. He is only eligible for forward. He's not power forward eligible. Aminu Harkless is not.
power forward eligible. So I'm forced to go with Amino. And that's how my lineup was made. All right. I like it a lot. Um, I'm just, I like to organize. Just put my good foot forward. Westbrook and Ola Depot is always a good pair. Robeson, I'm stacking Thunders tomorrow at home. Off a two game losing streak. I think that's a good thing to do. And then Amino, I love Noel. Um, Ulysses and Allen Williams, you know, you want to stack those two. Even though their prices are up, we know that they can produce. This guy in the last 10 is averaging almost six times value. And um, this is what we're going to expect from 40s, upper 30s, right? And you have one day and then 40s, and then they're going to keep feeding those young boys the ball and Phoenix. Um, that's my thought on this slate. Bogdanovich is the riskiest. But Donovich and Roberson are the riskiest. If Oladipo is ruled out or is going to be on a minutes restriction, which I doubt when they are. The West is getting a little bit tough, man. They're on the two games losing streak. They're fighting for seeding. Um, Oladipo's been out for a while. He got a little practice in. And um, they're saying that he could play tomorrow. Um back spasms but coach Donovan said the guard felt good at practice today given the thunder reasons for optimism Donovan said the team will wait until shoot around Tuesday to give him another evaluation at which point his status for the matchup will become more clear in the event all the deeper is held out again expect Alice I don't, I don't think he'll be out not when they really need him and he feels good and there's optimism these are all signs that he plays so um Amino, Noel, Ulysses, Bogdanovich, Allen Williams. Confident about it. I love it. I'm going to submit it. Um, like the video. Subscribe. Ask questions. Um, if you give me a lineup, I put it right here into this box. I analyze it and I see if I can give you a recommendation. Every recommendation that I gave today did good. All right. Ty Lawson did good. Gallinari did good. Gary Harris did good. My favorite player of the night was Kawhi Leonard. He superseded value. He was almost the top player of the night. Um, all my calls, if it wasn't for this wet floor, man, I'd be killing right now. But it's okay. I'm still ahead. All my predictions came through. And um, I think it'll continue into tomorrow. Hopefully there's no injury or weird freak of nature that's gonna affect my um situation so hit me with the questions um if you have any suggestions i'm open to suggestions as well i'm a human sometimes you guys see things that i don't see bring it to my attention let's work together let's take the money